Hi, I'm Bill Shear, and I pastor Guts Church in Tulsa, Skytook, and Sepulpa, Oklahoma. Thank you for watching this. Let's just cut to the chase. I'm telling you, this is my wheelhouse. Mark 11:22, Jesus said, you've got to have faith. And he said, you've got to have faith in God. You've got to have then the God kind of faith. God, God said it, and then it happened. See, what you're saying and what you're speaking in your life determines your future. And that's the bottom line. The Bible says that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. See, our words, when we match up our words with the word that, words that God gives us, His promise, they have power. Jesus said, you've got to have faith in God or the God kind of faith. And if you say to this mountain, flip that word mountain and, and call it your sickness. And you say to this cancer, be removed and be cast into the sea and don't receive any doubt in your heart. You'll have whatever you say. And when you stand praying, believe that you receive and you'll have it. Now think about this. Think about the idea of you speaking to that cancer. And not just speaking because it's you speaking and it's what you want, but it's God speaking and it's what he wants. In the Old Testament, God used animals and God used things and God used stuff and God used buildings. The new and better covenant, the New Testament, God uses people just like me and you. I'm telling you, you can do this and you can do it today. You say to this cancer, be removed and be cast into the sea. And God, I don't receive any doubt in my heart. And I have whatever I say. I have whatever I say. See, be determined. There's a confidence that comes with this because it's not just man's words, it's God's word. And it's God's promise. And it's not a promise that he's just made. It's a promise that he's kept. You know, the three questions are this. Is God able? Absolutely, we all know God's able. Man, if you didn't think God was able, you wouldn't have even turned on this video. Is God willing? See, this is the question. Why would God heal me? Why would it be personal for me? Can you grab, can you bunch those thoughts and get them out of your dead gum head? Because it's God's will for you to be healed. I can say that assuredly today. He sent his word to heal you and deliver you of all your destructions. You might have been a lifelong smoker and you have emphysema right now. Let me tell you, God delivers you even of your self-destructions. Quit beating yourself up. See, think about this. Jesus even said, which is easier for me to say? Your sins are forgiven or pick up your, your bed and walk. See, most church people in most churches today can talk to you about your sins being forgiven. But that's all ethereal. That's all in people's hearts and that's a big deal. Because your sins being forgiven gives you access to heaven right now and when you pass. You go from life to life. You go from earth to heaven. But pick up your bed and walk? Oh my gosh, so Jesus did that on the Sabbath. And he torqued all the religious people at that time. How could someone heal on the Sabbath? Really, that's your question? The question you have for Jesus when this crippled man gets up and picks up his mat and takes it to the house is why? How can you do that on the Sabbath? See, we've got to get real, because let me tell you, Jesus broke all the boundaries. Man, every boundary that you have in your life because of your health, man, just, just today, live your life like there's no boundaries, like it's limitless. Man, the woman with the issue of blood had spent everything that she had, but her health only got worse. She found out Jesus was going to be walking by. So you know what she chose to do? She chose to stand there, right there on that roadside, and say, when he comes by, I want to be able to tell him what I've got going on in my life. And then when they turned the corner, she saw that there was a big throng of people and she couldn't get to him. So she thought, God, if I could but touch the hem of his garment. She leaped out and, and just barely brazed the, the hem of Jesus' garment. It stopped him in his tracks. Let me just tell you, when you ask God, when you come to God and you say, God, heal my body, let me tell you, it stops him in his tracks. And Jesus said, who touched me? Who touched my virtue? You think about that power. You think about that virtue today. Is God able? We all know that he is. Is God willing? If God's ever healed anybody, he's bound by his word because he's not a respecter of persons. And in him, there's no shadow of turning. He's bound to his word. He's a God of precedent. But it's all in the name of Jesus. It's all in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be healed that touches the hem of his garment, that touches his virtue, that activates his power, and his power is definitely to heal.